Yo ho, what's up guys, it's Tue here, and as promised, made a Mystic level 50 on a Japanese server just to show you guys what this class is all about, show the skills, and this video will be all about the skills, what they do, what you need to level, what is good, what to do, what not to do. So let's start off with, nah, let's just get the blood thing out the way first. So if you look at your top left, you have a counter. And this is basically similar to the Berserker blood counter. So instead of just using random hits and getting it up, you need to wait your time or you need to hit your enemy with normal hits. So this is probably one of the fastest ways to gain those points. Uh, with that, you grant yourself more mobility because this uses those points, like all this air mobility and some of the additional hits so if I right mouse button click on some hits like this or that this will all cost points so moving on to the skills the first skill is a stun skill um, I would say level this up for PvP for PvE it's not that good so what this does it grants you a single hit it might break block or shadow decoys or anything not quite sure yet but this stuns and you can set this up for a stun combo it's pretty good for PvP I suggest leveling it now moving on to the normal slam which is the first slam and as you can see it stuns as well does not grant you any sort of frames and this is part of the additional to it and it could be pretty good so the first hit is actually worth the level but I'd say the second and the third hit does not do as much damage and for comboing it's not very necessary I would say level one of that should be enough moving on to an upswing and this is mainly used for comboing because this picks up enemies from the ground but it does not do a lot of damage so keep it at level one then a round swing this is a big ass PvE skill so as you can see you twirl around, get this at least a level 5 to proc the second edition. And I'll show you that. So when you click the right mouse button, it becomes a tornado! And it's awesome. Uh, I would suggest leveling this because it does a lot of damage and you can actually combo it. Moving on to one of the two projectiles that this class has. So what this does on impact, it does two hits always does two hits so back and forth does not matter and the full animation except for the last part grants you super armor frame but it's quite slow and it picks up enemies from the ground so if I do it very fast fuck you lie down and actually miss oh my god there we go pick them up from the ground and use all the combos if you use uh, the booster skill of this one you can actually combo it or if you get more attack and movement speed you should be able to combo it as well so moving on to I would say it's a pretty useless skill because her kit actually doesn't need this but it's a rush grants you a lot of bonus points for every hit and when you click right mouse button or get uh, the roll after you can easily dodge stuff grants you semi super armor during the whole frame but all in all it's hard to combo this one and pretty useless to combo this one so I would say if you don't need to don't level this skill then the electric swings very slow hard to combo it should be somewhat possible let me see if I can try it out yeah it is possible but not very useful I would say keep this at level one or don't get it at all then we have the ultimate and I would say maximizes at all times for both PvE and PvP because the first startup frame is super armor in between there's like all sorts of invis frames and whatnot so I'm not quite sure what it all does and the addition to the PvP or the PvE is actually quite devastating it's like the reaper one pretty much it grants you so much more damage then moving on to the first buff and I would say this one is pretty 
pretty useless to use but you need to get it to level 5 to at least get this thing and this could be quite useful what this changes is your auto attack so it becomes ways and ways faster as you can see I will show the normal auto attack as well and that's about the only thing it does I cannot read Jap Japanese so uh, when you level this up you will be granted uh, more or less uh, yeah I don't know some attack speed so this is the normal auto attack there we go oh slap this and the most useless somersault ever I'm not sure whether it hits or not but <gasps> let's do the somersault okay it's fucking useless maybe I can use a right mouse button after that nope okay somersault is useless okay then moving on to the next skill which is probably one of the most fun skills in the game I would suggest leveling it for PvP purposes for PvE it's not that good but when you level it you will be granted more range every single time that you do it so we have three additions in this so that's one one two and one two three and it's it's ridiculous you can just curve it around be happy get more range into it the higher you get and this uses up the boosting points moving on to a similar skill to rising attack but this does not knock up is an aerial skill this grants you invisible frame at all times and I would say it is pretty useful when you mix it up with other skills I would say I would recommend actually maxing it because you will be able to use the combos as well and it does a fair amount of damage in PvP for PvE not that useful then the upper swing I would say keep this at level one if you have points left maximize it but this is your bread and butter skill because uh, the first frame is invis frame the rest of the frames is super armor frame and the last is invis frame as well so this is very good to get people at one of the very first hits so you go up to somebody use that invis frame of the dash that gives invis frame as well then knock them up and I would say this is a very very good skill for first on hit and whenever I get first on hits I tend to maximize them because full damage output always good then this is the PVE bread and butter skill it is a buff and it grants you a, a lot and I mean a lot of physical damage is 11 percent and the more you maximize it the more you get that's what it's all about then this upper skill I would say it's pretty good uh, does a fair amount of damage in both PV and PvP does not give you any additional hits and it, I would say it's fairly hard to combo like you can honestly make it if you time it correctly like that but I would say it's a harder skill to use so it's up to you whether you maximize it or not then we have the buff now I have a blood points of 100 and some skills are fairly fairly slow once you use this buff these things will become faster and as you can see you can combo some of these skills like this so the moment you actually use all these skills you'll be gaining points as well but there's a big side effect your points will be drained to shit after some time so whether this is useful or not it is all up to you I would say it's pretty useful if you have enough points because your combos will be more like you can variate things more that's pretty good now we have the level 45 edition or level 40 edition and I would say this is a good PvE skill for PvP not quite sure whether it's good or not as the ulti I didn't want that so we slam dunk on people oh and then we slap them slap 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 that's all about it so this grants you uh, super armor on first startup but after the hits you have no additional frames can you combo this I'm not even quite sure let's see what I can do there there uh, you can use some hits okay that's funny but not very useful 
So no, comboing this one pretty hard. You should be able to if you just leap somebody from the ground. One, two, three, four, and then knock them up. So it's possible to combo. Uh, could be a pretty good skill to catch people off guard. Then moving on to, I would say it's a very good skill if you know how to use it properly. It is a projectile. It is the Heaven's Judgment Hammer. So you can cast this anywhere, drop it down anywhere. And what this does, it actually stuns people. And I would say that's pretty OP. During the stun, you will not be able to knock people up. And that is a very strange addition. So there's a way to use this properly. And I will show it to you. So we get the stun off. And once the stun is actually ended, you'll be able to use basically anything. As you can see, I can quite combo already. Oh my god, it's so good. So, moving on. This is the auto attack. What this does is shows you how much auto attack hits actually do. It's not very useful. Now we have the kick. Um, I saw it yesterday being used in a combo. And ever since I got hooked up to it. Whether you should level it or not is all up to you. I would not do it. Then we have the side swing. And this is possibly the slowest side swing in the game. So once you do the side swing. You will be granted if it's framed to the last possible part. Uh, chaining this one up is actually pretty slow still. But once you get enough points and use the booster. It will become freaking fast. So that's a very good addition. You just gotta get used to this booster. You cannot cancel it all the way through. That's pretty nasty. So, how's the side swing? Uh, keep it at level 1. The damage could be pretty useful for PvP, but I don't think you have enough points for anything like that. Now, the second addition to the first slam. Not that good. Then we have the aerial step, and I actually like this skill, but it does shit for damage. It's just more fun. So you can step once and you can step twice on an enemy. So one, two, you jump away. And it is so funny. So you'll be able to use this for combos more for style points. Stomp them down because the second hit is so hard to land. But yeah, keep this at level 1. Why? Because it grants you semi uh, super armor frame on the first startup. So you can go into somebody's face, slam them to the ground and make sure you get a decent exchange out of it. So level 1 I'd say keep it at level 1. Now we have the jump E skill. Uh, I've tried comboing this skill uh, in many variations but all I can say it is pretty hard. So I would say this is more of a PvE skill than a PvP skill because comboing this mm, I would say it's almost impossible. Now we have the booster, it's all already maxed. Then we have the addition to the booster. And I actually like this skill uh, very much. Does a crack amount of damage. You'll be able to combo as I will show you later on in different videos. But all in all, it slaps the shit out of people. So what you do, you grab booster, you click right mouse button and you just ring people out. <laughs> so addition to that, you have a second skill is booster 2 so whenever you get that hit in like this and this is actually a pretty nasty one to trigger you'll be able to dash after your character and as you can see your opponent will be down on the ground already but that's not a problem for this skill because it grants you super armor frame on startup infus frame on the rest so you'll be able to hit and knock people up from that so I would say it's a pretty decent skill the aerial booster, uh, this can be used in different skills, so if you use this, it can be used, the upswing, it can be used, you can use it on this, and I think you can use it on this as well. So this is the aerial booster, uh, just right mouse button, but I would not level it more than level 1, because you don't need that much of air mobility to catch people up. Then we have possibly one of the most awesome skills in the game. So, let's do it. We just get away. Hammer time! And then just knock them down. 
what else do you need? Just what else? This is one of the biggest PvE skills. Uh, for PvP, it seems quite useless, but if you use it correctly, like if you go on for this type of thing, uh, you will be able to hit him on the auto attack get up or if he does not know what to do so I would say maximize this at all times because it's fun and then we have possibly one of the biggest PvE and PvP skills which is this jazz so whenever you use this skill use right mouse button on any of the hits so one two one two three or one two three and then just blast them down. It is uh I would say this is possibly one of the biggest damaging skills that this class has, so there is not a chance in hell that you guys should keep this at level one. We got the frame dash and now we got possibly one of the best PvP skills in the game. So this one actually takes quite an amount of practice because you'll be able to use it like a side swing or you can use it full on and this gives invis frame on startup and the rest of the animation as well so for first hit it is so good but you gotta get used to its speed I would say this is possibly one of the very best skills that this class has so for PvP maximize this for PvE don't now the addition to the whirlwind already showed it then we have the upper swings and this seems quite useless in combos but I'll be showing you why it's not later on in different videos I would say keep this at level 1 because the damage itself not that great when you level it up but if you go pure PvP I would say maximize this because this could be quite useful now we have one of the most fun skills it is an aerial skill so this hits an opponent multiple times on the ground and you should be able to combo it if you know how to and I'll be showing it into the videos later on as well and that's all you need to know and now we have a booster of some sort not quite sure what it does it's Japanese and all I know is I'm not Japanese that's all you need to know as for the rest these are just all buffs I would recommend maxing it all of them except for the critical one because it's always useful and that's it for all of the skills I hope you guys enjoyed uh, hope I showed some light to this class make sure to check out my tips and tricks video of this class because there's a lot to talk about so this is Twebby like the video and peace out